Alrighty, welcome to the brand new game, Sid Meier's Civilization V Brave New World. Let's get into this. Uh, it's not actually a whole new game, but it's a, a new DLC. It just came out literally like right now, and we are playing it. So let's get on to it. Set up a game. Uh, look at that. First one, that's who we're going to be. I do believe so. Receive three gold from the international trade route, which is new. Uh, trade routes are new. There's a new culture victory. There's just a ton of new things in this expansion pack. In fact, let me bring up my notes here. Got the World Congresses, new policies and ideologies. and For... Oh, I think he's a new one, too. Uh, but for now, we'll be him. We get a Berber Cavalry. You can see we are originally in Africa. And uh, there's our symbol. Continents, I think, is fine. Wait, we can play on Earth, but that's no fun. Then you're just rediscovering Earth. Map size standard is fine. Uh, advanced setup. Wow, you can see how new it looks. It just looks amazing. They really kind of darken the colors. And All right, so victory types. Yep, all good. Complete kills. Yep. All looking good. However, I'm not a king. I'm a prince. So that's what we're gonna do. World age. We are five billion years old, so we get a little bit of early, a little bit more early game. Uh, let's start. The people of Morocco await your guidance, great Sultan Ahmed al Mansur of the Saadi dynasty. Well known for your skill as both a negotiator and a diplomat, your careful words allowed for the forging of new alliances securing the sovereignty of your nation and its people for decades. And still, when words failed, you found equal success in conquest, leading the Moroccan armies to victory on the battlefield while greatly expanding the grasp of your empire. Wise and respected Sultan, the people look to you for leadership. Can your skill in diplomacy match that of your rivals, or will you have to meet them sword in hand? Your once great kingdom yearns for that former glory. Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Dang right. All right, so you can see the gateway to Africa. We receive three gold and one culture for each international trade route with a different civ or city-state. The trade route owners receive two gold for each trade route sent to Morocco. So let's go ahead, uh, keep that in mind, by the way, and begin our journey. You can see that was quite a... Look at this gold. and Oh, I like the way it looks now. Um, Let's see, we got some wine nearby. Let's move him first. Let's send you up on the hill. Let's see what we got over here. Desert. You got cows, sheep, and water. So I think right here is fine. Let's go ahead and settle the city. And uh, by the way, this is the second expansion pack for Civilization V. This new... Expansion pack provides depth and replayability through the introduction and late game. So the late game is said to be far better than previous. And we are going to discover that. Ah, what are we going to start? Look at this. Oh, caravan? We can establish land-based trade routes. Heck yeah, we're going to do that. We want to get right into this. All right, next turn. So um, with these... Uh, trade routes. I have no idea how they work or World Congress, so we're going to be figuring that out together. However, I have researched what I could, but again, it, this thing just came out today, so... Wow. Two ruins discovered. Uh, do we need an arche archaeologist for those, or um, we'll go next turn. We're making five gold a turn. Zero trade routes. You have zero international trade routes available. Uh, let's go for the right one first, I guess. What do we get? Cultural Artifacts, 13 Culture. Ooh, that's really nice. Look at that, we now get a uh, policy already. We'll get to see what the new policies are. Yes. Whoa, Ideology. Click to go to Ideology. What happens? Well, it's new. Yeah, sure, let's take a look. Ideology tenants may not be purchased until you have chosen Ideology. This choice becomes available when you build your third factory or enter the modern era, whichever comes first. Social Policies. Wow, that is sweet. So then I guess we'll continue on with tradition in the monuments and we'll start there. All right, you know where you're going, warrior. 
So I know if, like, let's say someone took over our capital and burned it to the ground, we would then advance weapons. Wow, we're doing really good. Okay, yeah, you're done. Um, I know that we would need an archaeologist to, or an archaeologist could dig up artifacts from that old city and recover uh, different types of uh, technologies that uh, we left behind if it was our city that uh, got taken over and burnt to the ground. But, of course, you know that's, that's not going to be. Uh, let's get a worker going. I got the warrior to walk around and explore. I really don't need a... Uh, scout is what is what I'm trying to say. Okay. What perfect timing. Barbarian encampment. Oh, wow, look at the trees even. I think that's a new texture. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Okay, we can now make caravans for trade routes, even though we don't know anyone. Ah, uh, 15% production when building buildings and wonders. Yep, gonna take that. Alright, what are we gonna do now? Let's take a look. Temple of Artemis. Mmm. I still want writing, though. I, I do. But then trade routes, or what is this? Mausoleum of Holicarnus? Hmm. No, let's do pottery. It's all about growth. Anyways, for all of the uh, old subscribers here, a unit needs orders. Oh, hey, you do. Yeah, minor victory. We'll take that. But for all of the old subscribers here, this will be taking place of uh, over the in-betweens, because, you know, we're scheduled for Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Saturday. This will be taking over all of the in-betweens until I am out of videos for the normal days, in which case this will start filling those up. Yes, continue to attack. We could use the culture. Where's the gold? I believe it's culture. Yep, so far so good. Next turn. We really can't do much early game, but... Unit promotion. Could do full health, but I, I really don't like that. Let's do the drill one. The only reason why they're really winning is because they're on a hill. In fact, after this, I'm probably going to have to heal because they're not going to die, and they're going to respawn right there like barbs always do. Watch. Wait for it. No, they didn't. Quick, take it. I know we're low on health, but I don't want them to re repopulate the earth with more barbs. 16 gold. All right, so it was gold. So yeah, this will be a new series, hopefully a new video out every other day. Make sure you like and subscribe either the video and my channel for uh, new and delicious content on uh, multiple different things like uh, Airline Empires where you can run your... Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? Your own virtual airline, but you know, that's enough of that. Uh, let's start talking about the new game that we just got. Uh, writing, yeah. An unknown already, wow. Next turn, you are going to continue to heal. Let's take a look at our city. What do we got? We already got the cows. We've grown again. So I think we're going to start the work on the cows. Really push the growth. Because we really want this city to be huge. Because, you know, it's our capital. It's right there on the, on the edge of the ocean. That's what it's on the edge of. So, anyways, as we're continuing through this uh, early game that's kind of hard to go through. Whoa, wait, hold up. Free culture building. Okay, nothing new there. So we'll just get legalism so then we can get the uh, food here. The landed elite for the 10% growth. As you can tell, I really like growing the cities. But anyway, your influence around the world will be impacted by creating great works, choosing an ideology for your people, and proposing global resolutions. So you can see this is just all new material. It's really real. Uh, when I say really real, I mean like it's um, it's realistic to a point that it adds a whole other dimension to the game about um, mainly with, whoa, with the pointiest sticks. Hmm. He probably built another warrior, but we're still in first technically. <laughs> he probably just has two warriors. We have pikemen. I, no, that's what they are, right? No, what are you? Spearmen, my bad, my bad. Did not mean to insult you. So, where we where we propose these like world resolutions would be in the World Congress. I'm not sure if that's a new wonder or what it is, but 
man, I am so excited to start playing this. There are nine new civilizations in this uh, expansion pack, eight new wonders, and two new scenarios, and four new gameplay systems with dozens of new units, buildings, and improvements, offering an expanded variety to build your empire. So yeah, you can tell my notes are quite detailed. <laughs> he who destroys a good book kills reason itself. Yeah, definitely. Reading, we, we really expand on reading. It's unbelievable if you take away reading what happens. Parthenon, Riders Guild, mining, I think. Oh wait, nope, Temple of Artemis. Gotta figure out what this new stuff is. Alright, you are no longer doing that. You are doing that. And you are now focusing on production. 14 turns, looking good. And then two turns till we grow again, then that should be shortened down yet again. So you can tell the new culture of victory has to do with the World Congress and all that good stuff because um, when you propose like global resolutions, people are going to say, oh, oh my goodness, he can propose global resolu- what is this? I have one international trade route available from city, click to, s oh, click to sort, I see. So I guess that automatically comes, but I don't have another city, so. Oh, wait, look at that, we got green. Mecca. مرحبا أيها العجمي أنا هارون الرشيد خليفة العرب هلما إلي وحدثني عن إمبراطوريتك Wow jerk Look at my palace it's so pretty look at the pot of plants You know what dude I'm sure those are fake goodbye I do not see a good future with him He uses fake plants come on Although I suppose we could do a trade route, you know, to do a trade route, because that's what we do. Oh, I can't build a plantation. We can mine here, though, so we'll do the... No, we can't mine yet, darn it. Real quick, uh, from my city. Oh, click to sort which civilization. Oh, coming from. That's me. Me. Can I not choose me? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a turn to figure itself out. We'll go to the left. Wow, look at this jungle. Look at how amazing the trees look. The textures are just so high def. I really like it. I also like playing like close up at the beginning. We should consider exchanging embassies, which would allow for more advanced diplomacy between our peoples. World Congress. We have no delegate support to trade. World Congress has not been founded yet. We have to found the World Congress? How do we do that? Yeah, I'm gonna accept this only because I don't know if I need that to found a world congress. All right, you can. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. Indeed. Oh darn, that's right. We can't mine yet. So where am I gonna send you? The sheep. It says we can do stuff with the sheep. Let's choose our roads. That could help us with the trade routes, can it not? International trade routes and good stuff like that. That are actual trade routes. They're not just roads to different cities. Oh, I think that can. I think that can. Let mm, nope, sorry, mining. <laughs> I totally forgot about the mining. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, expect lots and lots and lots of videos of this on my new channel. Because I absolutely love Civilization V. <laughs> And this expansion pack totally brings a whole new dimension, like I've already said, to the game. So we will be exploring what this new expansion pack has to offer. All right. Uh, growth, indeed. Indeed. We'll go ahead and continue. Oh, whoa, whoa. You have discovered Old Faithful. Aha. Mm-hmm. It hides behind the mountains for you guys, so it's not for you. It is for me. For us. One for all or all for one. It's all for one, right? No, it's all for us. That's what it is. Not for you. It's for our group. The meek shall inherit the earth, but not its mineral rights. Well, that's what mining does. That's what it's about is mineral. Ooh, ruins discovered. Look at their, like, gold almost. That is neat. Okay. Okay, that's enough with that. <laughs> oh, okay, sweet. We, that was quick. We can do roads already? What do we else? Chariot Archer, that's not new. 
What is this? This is new. St Statue of Zeus. Real quick, let's find where the World Congress is. Again, a lot of this is expanding on the uh, later game. It's really expanding that. So, again, these are going to be coming out quite frequently to try and get to the... Uh, not, like, rush through the game, but to really discover it. So, I'll be playing this a lot, so that's why they're coming out. East India Company. Wow, that's neat. Uh, World Congress, come on, where are ya? Is that also in the Industrial Era? How do you find a World Congress? Zoo! You can build a zoo! Uh, musicians Guild? Took me a while to pronounce. We are looking at archaeologists. Right there is where you can go back and, like, if there's cities that were destroyed, you can go back and construct an archaeological dig site and attract, like, tourism and all that good stuff through the trade routes and then increase your religion spread across the world. It's, it really expands the cultural victory, which is what I plan to go for. Because, um, well, you know, that's what the... It's really expanding Broadway. That is neat. That's in America, for all of you uh, non-Americans. But I think we'll do roads. I thought I selected. Sweet next turn. Not too far out. All right, this is almost ours. Dang it, come on. Oh, yeah, we have horses. Duh. Already discovered that. Sweet, sheep are done. You are going to mine. <laughs> Got to increase production. One turn. Guess what's ours? Guess what is ours? Can you guess what it is? Here Hector enters. With a spear 11 cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front of him and was fastened to the shaft of the spear by a ring of gold. Wow. <laughs> An advanced technology, a world wonder, and the great library. Oh my goodness, we got an unfair advantage compared to all the others. Libraries are the shrine where all the relics of the ancient saints full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture, are preserved and reposed. Okay. One free technology, free library in which the city was built. It contains two slots for great works of writing. All right, well, you're going to mine. Where are you? Let's discover this part of the ocean. All right, free tech. Uh, open the tech tree. Not this far down. Here we are, way down. Already? Way up here. Thank goodness we discovered this the turn before. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to spend it on something this big, which doesn't have anything new, though. But that has the Writer's Guild, which provides one great person point toward a great writer. Hmm, but this will give us iron. I think I'm going to go for ironworking. We're going to get this anyways. It'll just take a little bit longer. Do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. Yeah, it's friction. The king's might is greater than human. His arm is very long. Look at that. Classical era. First episode. What speed did I put this at? Whoopsie doodles. We'll finish the grain. Oh, wait. Wonders. The Temple of Artemis. 10% growth in all cities. Duh. <laughs> That's what we're going to get. Come on. Come on, game. You should know this. Oh, what is this baggage? Zero great work slot filled. Three great work slots available. Wisdom and virtue are like the two wheels of a cart. Okay, so we got roads, and unfortunately, we also have barbarians. <sighs> that helps with growth, so we're gonna get that. When I say get that, I mean research. Uh, we are going to attack you because that's all we can attack. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you're gonna have to work on another spearman. <laughs> Ah, uh, you. Run to the city, my boy. Or people. You're, you don't necessarily have to be a boy. We're about equality here. Quality. Wow, turn 31. Class Calera. That is fantastic. Most progressive people. Darn it. Well, at least we're one. We're first. That's what it's all about. City state. Trade route. Please, come on. Who's already been here? We only got 15 versus 30. Who's already been here? Enemy, yep, yep, yep. 
city state real quick city city civilize it come on I uh, can't trade anything really we'll get there we'll get there probably next episode more likely than not darn you for burning my cow's fence well, anyways, I think I will leave it here. Tune in next time to see what exactly we're going to do about these barbarians and them burning down our cow's fences. We take that very seriously here. And uh, next turn, we will be expanding on some of the other new stuff on Brave New World, like uh, the new civilizations. Hopefully, we'll be meeting them. Of course, we've already been trying to go through the international trade routes and the... Uh, the two new scenarios are called the American Civil War and the Scramble for Africa. So if you guys want to play those. And then, of course, we're going to be working towards the new cultural victory. So if you liked the video, click the like button below. If you didn't, click the dislike and then, you know, leave a comment on how I can improve. I always want to improve. I mean, I really want this to be good content for you guys. So anyways, make sure you like and subscribe and tune in next time.